All right, we got a quick video today. We're doing an oil change on a second gen Honda Pilot. It's a 2008 to 2015. It's a 3.5 liter V6. Uh, we already drove the car around. We warmed up the engine and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it up on some ramps and then I'll show you guys all the tools that you're gonna need. So it calls for 4.5 quarts. We need your filter. Uh, that's a filter wrench, uh, 17 millimeter drain plug with a ratchet and the extensions just so it help you reach up a little bit to pull the uh, old filter out. I'll show you the uh, other few things that you're gonna need to get this project done. All right, you're gonna need one of these. It's a catch pan for the oil, you know, a funnel when you're refilling. I like to have a mat to lay down on, makes it a little bit nicer to work. And then uh, finally a set of ramps just to uh, get the car up high enough to make it comfortable to get under there. Other than that, that's all you really need. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice is it's uh, you're going to have to get up and over your hood because the stuff's kind of tucked back. Right here's your dipstick to check your levels. And over here's your cap to uh, fill the oil back up. The first thing I like to do is pull this cap off. Set this off to the side you can see up there. 520. Alright, so now let's get under the car and uh, start draining. Alright, so first thing you want to do is crawl up under the car. You're going to be closer to the passenger side. You're going to find your oil pan. You look at the back of the oil pan. And that's your drain plug over there. All right, so now we got that old one off. Make sure that we have uh, the right part here. Looks the same. This one has a new gasket on it. i will take our new engine oil. Just put enough to fill this a little bit. You might not even have to do this step. I just like doing it because this filter sits in the car this way, so it's, uh, easy enough to do if it's a horizontal filter you know you're gonna make a mess trying this you can always rub a little bit of new oil around this uh new gasket and let's get this put back in the car All right, one quick thing with the uh, funnel to fill this car back up. You're going to want to get something. Yeah, see this one's like 15 inches long. You want to at least get a 15 inch long funnel. I'll go over to the car and I'll show you why. All right, you can see there's our fill down there. We're just making it in. All right, now we're in the car. We just gotta reset the oil light. So we'll come over here. We'll turn the key until it's, uh, you can see up here, there's like a one and a two. Until we're lined up with the two. On, uh, on our dash, it'll be blinking. You know, we went 147 miles over the oil change. Right, so now we push and hold the button here. Now we'll start saying oil life. Push and hold again. See it blinking. Push and hold it again. There you go. Back to 100. 
Right, as you can see, we got our oil life reset and uh, this car should be good to go. We'll let it run for a little bit, we'll pull the dipstick out, we'll check the oil one more time, make sure that our levels stay good and that we don't have any leaks. And then uh, we're good to clean up and get on to the next project. All right, thanks.